Gwen! Oh, lovely to see you, my husband. Oh man, I missed you. All Welcome right. Welcome to our home. Wow. We're gonna do a quick tour. We're gonna wait until it was all furnished, but we realized it's gonna take like forever. A year. All right. Let's start with this space. Okay, but let's talk about. So we closed okay. here March first. Yep. We probably didn't move in until roughly you know March twelfth or something. Yeah. yeah, right around there. Um, and then we've slowly been buying some furniture and unloading. So and I think that it just takes forever to get stuff with supply chain. We've been wanting to do some secondhand, which takes a little time. But but the ba the boxes are unpacked. Yeah, all our boxes are unpacked. Just, Except just, for the boxes in your office. A couple in my office, but I'm I'm gonna claim that 80% of the stuff inside of them is yours. No way. Okay. Anyway, we can agree to disagree. Okay. Well, should we first just do my office yeah, because we're office. right here? Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now, Ellen. My fr yeah, my friend, my friend Ellen, she did the office. She's responsible. So uh, shout out to Ellen. Um, yeah, we got some photos here. We've got Gwen. We've got your medals here, which I think she did an amazing job on. Yeah. I've got my desk. I've got one of your bikes up there. Um, then let's see. This was your favorite bike that was we ever. My favorite painted bike. Yeah. Right, right, right. And I've got this super cute little photo that's been painted of you. But obviously I just, I love my, I've got a really nice chair and, and desk here and I love just uh, doing my work here. And yeah, then- You spend a lot of time in here. I spend a lot of time in here. And this is kind of your space. You, I don't really want trophies or bikes right. or anything hanging around the house. Right, but it's a nice space. little, it's a nice little spot for it to happen. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and I love that I can, obviously I can see out the front door. I've got some really great natural sunlight and all that stuff. So this, this we're calling the living room, right? Yeah, we'll probably put a couch in it. We're not exactly sure what we want to do here. So if you guys have any suggestions, like I'd love to make it a toy room, but I also don't want people to walk in and see toys. Kapow, toys. Yeah, just like Hot Wheels tracks and yeah, yeah everywhere. So, so right now just holding all our things that we're going to hang. Right, okay, perfect. And this is where we're going to have a dining table, which is something that's been really high on my list is getting the dining table. <sighs> but we just have and I think again. we've kind of ordered, we've almost ordered one. <laughs> There's one in my inbox um, yes. that's ready to go. And then we have all these lovely plants, which I am, I do not have a green thumb, but I am so excited to hang some of them. And um, we're waiting for a few pieces of furniture that we've bought to, to put those on. Wow. And I love this light. It came with the house. It's just gorgeous. Yep, yep. And we had to put the table there to kind of shield the light because obviously I'd walk right into that one. <laughs> so, okay. Perfect. Perfect. And this is kind of what we really loved about it, right? This kitchen is just amazing. Now, Catherine, I might hold the camera so you can... Sure, sh kind of show what's show, going on with the window. Yeah. Okay. So this is called the cantina window. And what we can do here... And it's great for entertaining. On the other side, you can see there's like a bar and we have some bar stools. So. Right, and the fire pit out there. We've got a table. And then obviously, then what most people don't know is right out the backyard is uh, an elementary school. So that's where Stanley will be going to school here in just over a year. So, yeah, so um, that that's something we really loved. And just a lot of open space. Six burners, which we're really excited about. Yep, yep nice big oven. Um, we've got... You know what what should be a beer and wine fridge over here and this is basically just filled with uh, non-alcoholic beers and lots waters of, lots of non na beers and, and water so uh that's loaded up it's awesome and then we'll probably show the fridge and the freezer because that's a little, little it's interesting access, right? you know i don't i i i kind of like it don't you yeah, I'm, I'm neutral about it. So yeah, fridge here, big fridge, got all the stuff. Um, what, uh, Gwen, what are, what are you seeing in here? We've got some shredded some, beets. Some burgers I made some tonight. beet burgers, shredded, leftover shredded beets. Yeah. We got basil for some pesto. Yeah, so our fridge is looking pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, in between we have a pantry. pantry. Yeah. Hidden microwave, which is cool. More pantry space. And so, then the freezer yeah. on the other side. So it's not connected, but... Um, not connected, yeah. But it's yeah. nice and tall, plenty of space. And then I think the other thing to point out here is that there is a... Um, that built-in espresso machine. Which Pat said he was never going to use because I wanted to put decaf beans in there for me. Yeah. And he said he was never going to use it. And it. You love it, yeah. yeah. So it's been super convenient. Okay, we're going to flip the camera back. Go ahead and show us the other room by the kitchen. So this we've ordered stuff for. It's just okay. we're waiting for it to arrive. So right now we have like a filler couch just so we have somewhere to sit, but we ordered a really nice tall produce um, rack. Yeah, produce rack that we just had so much produce over here. As right. you can see, and my goal in this house is house, which my sister says we won't be able to do, is get everything off the countertops. 
And so, nice little close-up of that photo. So we're gonna have a big tall shelf here for our cookbooks and for all that produce yeah. and, um, and and the room will actually be up. will be switched the other way, right? Yeah, so we'll so have an L-shaped couch over here, right? And then a little like media console over there that will have some toys in it. Yep, and, and then I'm a sure TV that there. What we're gonna do with this basketball hoop? Yeah, basketball hoop. That's gonna be outside. But nice tall ceiling in here. The fan, you know, you can. You really feel that so okay um well let, why don't we go upstairs okay do you want to show them this space or no on the way out to the garage yeah okay yeah i thought we were going i said upstairs and we're okay. going down well you know i'm pregnant so forget things <laughs> which room first let's do the children's bedrooms first. beautiful really yeah nice they call this this called banister gwen so there we go. Well, when it's we moved in, you know, I thought, oh my gosh, this house is too nice for us. Yep. I still don't remember. Which way did you say? Let's do children's bedrooms first. Okay. Baby number two, the nursery. So, yeah, this is about it. We ordered Little some tiny blinds. closet. Yep, we've got blackout blinds coming because the morning sunlight connects in this room. And but it's realistically, super we won't bright. use this for like a year because baby right. will probably be in our room for a bit. Right, right, right. We got... Okay, the only thing that the previous homeowners left original was this bathroom. And you'll see that this has just got a full-blown... Um, but Stanley loves it because it's green. Right. There's green paint, right. which is his favorite color. And it's all in really good shape. It's just it's just old. Yeah. So, okay. Stanley's bedroom now. He picked out his own bed. And he loves lining up his cars. It's like his big thing. Don't touch makes, the cars. he makes his bed every morning. So he's done a fabulous job, I think, for a four-year-old at making the bed. And he's very particular. This is like this is kind of messy for him. He does not like clutter in his room. No. So I, I wish we had more stuff over here, but you, you know he's this is this is what he wants. This is the way he has it. He yeah. Can't touch the and cars. did he request for the mom and dad photo in here? He did. <laughs> oh, honey. And he also has this beautiful photo of um, our old massage therapist dogs, June and Hank and Stanley. He calls Love. them his dogs. So he always says we yeah. left our dogs in Portland, but uh, so he loves having that photo there. All right. Okay, master uh, bedroom. Perfect. I should open some, up some blinds, get some light. All right. So we need some nightstands, but you know, we got yep. a bed, we got a dresser. Get some nightstands. We got a little TV and a dresser right there, air purifier. And then, okay, let's head over. We yeah. got our bathroom, which has heated floors. Yep. And this. It's called the Japanese soaking tub, which would be beautiful for ice baths. I have yet to use it for an ice bath, but Stanley loves it. He can dive in. It's super, super deep. deep. Yep. So, yeah, he's playing in that like every day. Yep. And a beautiful closet, which I never thought, Pat, you and I could share a closet and have enough space. Yep. Maybe. Well, this is all I've got. I mean, those are my shirts. That's the extent of my shirts. <laughs> the so rest is mine. I've got, I mean, look at that. I mean, the bottom is empty. I've got one dress shirt down there. So yeah. that's really it. Okay, perfect. Should we go to the basement? Let's do it. All right, Gwen, we are downstairs. Downstairs. Okay. We've got a couch. We've got a couch. It's just straight up out. Ikea. Um, it was actually kind of challenging to find a couch that fit in this space that was the, you know, on the right side. So show us. So that's kind of like a little sleeper sofa thing. But yeah. Yeah. And sleep. And yeah. We always, you know, we watch family movie down here. Right so here. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think we're debating not putting a TV upstairs, right? Is right. that is that yeah. possible? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just so much because it would be a lot of noise. But yeah, here's the guest bedroom. Which we need to get a frame for the bed. And then once we get a frame, it's very tight in here, but we need to get like uh, some sort of yeah. nightstand. Or no, probably we well. should do some sort of little dresser here as well, just for people to set stuff on, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, or it's cool. Yep. Okay. Um, laundry room over here, right? Yeah. This is where I spend a lot of time. It's just... a beautiful laundry room. Yep. I like all my stuff hung up, which yep. Patrick's been doing a great job. Yep, there we go. See, dried out right there. Utility and then, closet, and then a, yeah, you've got if you come stay here, here, come stay here. You got your own uh, your own bathroom. It's beautiful. Okay, perfect. And my favorite part about the downstairs. Yep. Which I can't believe it came built with this house, which was yep. pretty incredible. Is this gym? So Pat actually uses this quite often as well, but it's just been super nice. It has. The mirrors in there to work out and just a great way for us to get a little bit of gym exercise in without having to leave. Yep, beautiful. 
So a requirement of when we were house searching was I needed a bathroom on the main floor because we didn't have that in our previous house. Got that. You got the bathroom on the main floor. I'm super excited about that. Yeah. Um, there used to be a fridge here, but we're going to make this into a little bench mushroom gonna, area so that yeah. I can just kind of sit So we're going to we're going to end up pulling all this and then remaking it lockers, like kind of like open style lockers with some storage above and yeah. storage below. Yep. Which I am super so glad. And now Pat, you've done a lot of work. This is kind of the only place we've done work. Right. Is the is garage. garage. So this was all unfinished when we moved in. Like and you had to like plaster the walls. The the walls got sheetrocked and painted and all that stuff. So um and then there were no, you know, bike hooks here, none of that was set up. So we've got all the bikes. We've got we're moving the secondary fridge out here. And then it's a little bit of shelving. And then and, a nice lift setup, which I love. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So now we've got you've got your bike. And, the treadmill. and your treadmill. So obviously I've got a bunch more organizing to do out here, but it's it's all usable right now, which I think was kind of the big the big thing, right? Yeah, it's been just great having it. Yeah. And then I do have a workbench here as well. So that and a lot of shoes. Too, but... I've got a little bit of work to do on that too, a little bit well, of Well, I mean, we've come a far way, I think, in uh, the time we've been here. And Oh, yeah. If you guys enjoy seeing this and you want to see it again once it's furnished, let us know. And if you have any suggestions as well, we have, we were just talking about this the other day. The reason we haven't ordered a dining room table is because you and I have said we have zero style. style. I mean, we just don't yes. know. Does it look good? Does it not look good? We just, we just have no clue. So, right. so we struggle with that. And I think that's why we, uh, we have a hard time purchasing things, that's but right. I'm excited to, to get in some more things and start to live in it a little bit more. Amazing. Pat, no compost here though. Do you? I have to make a comp. No, no, no. I've got to do that. And then I think the other thing is, is we've got, there is a hot tub out, out in the back, which you and I are both super annoyed with. And, but there's, there's some but beautiful Stanley loves it. Stan does. Yeah. Stanley just absolutely loves and there's it. There's some so. beautiful garden beds, which. Some beautiful um, garden beds. Yep. We're excited yep. about. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Thanks everyone. Hope you enjoyed.